Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm doing my February 2020 roundup of finished objects. Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> I totally messed up the introduction, but that's okay. I don't even care. Alright, so this is my second roundup for the, the year. <laughs> I was gonna say month. Um, for February 2020. And in my roundups this year, I'm going to show a picture or the actual item that I finished all month, how many uh, items I've finished, and if I completed any of my goals that were on my um, my 2020 goals. <laughs> if you hear any background noise, my window's open because it's a beautiful day. There's kids outside playing, and there's wind chimes, but I mean, it's just life sounds. That one kid just yelled, but whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. You don't care. It's just kids. Alright, so this is in no particular order because I can't remember what days I fin finished these. But I did I didn't really finish a lot in February, but I was super busy. But um, I do have all my finished objects still still with me because one of them I made for myself, one I made for donation later this year, three I made for trying to sell on my Etsy shop or in a craft fair later this year, and then a bunch of the daffodils <laughs> that I'm sure if you watch me for the last month and a half, you know that I'm making a ton of daffodils to hand out at a daffodil festival this coming March 21st in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. So if you live near Bell Buckle, Tennessee, which is near Nashville, um, go to it. I'm going to be there. So it'll be fun to uh, see you if you're near there. You know, don't drive like crazy distance, but if you're just living locally, uh, check it out because there's, there's going to be vendors and all kinds of cool stuff there. And um, it's for daffodils. Like, who doesn't love daffodils? <laughs> but anyways, back to uh, what I'm supposed to be talking about, which is my finished objects. So the first one that's in my lap is a shawl that I made. I've been making shawls. This is the first one actually for the, the nursing home. The first one I finished this year was for myself, but I'm going to make <laughs> granny shawls the rest of the year to uh, donate around Christmas maybe to my local nursing home uh, for hopefully, you know, for some of the residents there. So this is the first one I finished for them. And it's just a granny stitch. It is um, a really simple pattern. I didn't really follow a pattern for it. I just did the granny stitch. But you can look up crochet granny stitch shawl on Google or YouTube or Ravelry or wherever and I guarantee it's gonna pop up. <laughs> it's just super simple. This is made with a Karen Big Cake that I was gifted. The colorway is tiramisu. It's really pretty. I think anyone would enjoy it because they could drape it over their shoulders or they could use it as a lap gain, like if they're in a wheelchair, they could put it over their legs or even do it the way, you know, y'all do it when you wrap it around your neck. I can't do it well. But yeah, so I finished that this month, last month technically, because it's March. Sticky there. And this next one is technically two. Let me find the right square. Where are you, Star Stitch? Ha, ha, ha. Okay, this first one is just this square here, this blue one. And it is the Star Stitch Square by Unraveled Mitten. It was a crochet along hosted last, last year, 2019. It was like a scrap buster crochet along. And she made 24, I think, squares. And I had every intention of doing the whole thing, but I got halfway through it and I was like, okay, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm done. So I did make. Um, I made 13 of her squares, but I accidentally left one out of the blanket, so this, and then I finished just my own little blanket. It's like a lapkin, and I keep it on my love seat, and I use it all the time. <laughs> so it's really pretty Whoop, and bright. <laughs> I like it a lot. It's all Red Heart Super Saver. Uh, Takura, where is it? Takura, bright yellow, spring green, um, what's that really pink color? I don't know if it's hot pink. I can't remember. Uh, what are other colors in here? This is just red heart blue. Um, a really bright orange. I can't remember. This one is pumpkin. You know, this purple was a scrap I had. I'm not sure if it's red heart, but it feels like red heart. So I'm going to go with it being red heart. But yeah, so that was my second and third item. <laughs> because the square and then the blanket itself. That blanket was a lot of fun to actually sew together. I did it one night while watching Anna from um, Adventures with Anna. She was live and I was just sitting in the floor here, actually just facing that direction and sewing it all together. All right, the next three I'll go ahead and show you is my chubby bunnies. I finished them all on the same day. Uh, a couple weeks ago, it was towards the end of February. This is a pattern by Old Soul Creation. So there's one, two, 
<laughs> I'm going to be putting these in my Etsy shop soon. And then whatever doesn't sell in my Etsy shop, I'm going to take to a craft fair with me later this year. And while I'm at the craft fair, I will shut my Etsy shop, shop so that if something sells, you know, it doesn't sell twice. And then I will open it back up. But these are cute little bunnies. They're made with a velvet yarn that I was uh, gifted. Well, I got it out of a um, crochet carousel last year sometime. I remember it was um, Mary Maxwell, but I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> but it's just cute little bunnies. And it's a free pattern by Old Soul Creation. So check it out. And then and the other finished objects. I don't even know how many I made. Let me look at my list. In February, I made four, five... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 daffodils. <laughs> now, I don't know which 12 that is, but I'll show you a couple. Ooh, it's going to be really um, blown out because of the light. But I made some white and yellow ones, some orange and white ones, some yellow and orange ones. Oh, it's got a big hair on it. <laughs> it's not going to focus good because of the lighting. But just trust me, they're all in there. Plus a whole bunch more that I already made in March. <laughs> whole mess of daffodils to take to the Daffodil Festival. And my plan for that is to, um, I got a bunch of those light bulb pins, safety pin things. I'm going to pin one of them to the back with a business card hanging from it. And then I can hand them out to people because of the daffodils. But then it's also advertisement. <laughs> so um, I think it'll be fun. And I think people will like them. I hope so at least. Yeah, so that's all my finished objects in um, my clothes are getting too big for me. <laughs> um, February. All together, that was 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 finished items in February. So, woohoo! That's a lot. I can't remember how many I had in January. I think it was around that. But um, it was some bigger things. This was just a bunch of little things. <laughs> but I've already got my list started for March. I don't know if you can see it. But I did, I did make uh, eight more daffodils already in March, and I started my poncho, which I should finish in March. Uh, we shall see. <laughs> but um, so that's all my roundup for February. I will link all the patterns in the description if you're interested in checking them out. They are all really fun patterns. I did get a little burnt out with the squares, but it's just because I don't like working on the same thing for a long period of time. The squares were fun though, some of them were. I really enjoy some of the squares, <laughs> the patterns, and you could take that stitch and make anything with it, really. And uh, the bunnies were a lot of fun. I made all three of them in one day because they were so much fun. And Granny Shawl is a good mindless uh, project for watching TV or um, even walking. I walked a lot and made this, and um, the, the uh, poncho I'm working on now is a simple stitch, and I walk a lot while making it. And actually the daffodils, I will walk and watch YouTube videos like on the TV and I walk back and forth getting steps in while making one of those because they're all super easily my easy and mindless patterns and this daffodil pattern is embedded in my brain I know it by heart <laughs> I do also have a tutorial for that I got permission from the writer which I forgot to say the designer to that is Miss Niss Designs and it is a free uh, written tutorial on her blog but she also gave me permission to make a video tutorial and that's here on the YouTube channel I will link both of those below if you'd like to check them out but yeah what did you guys all make in February? Did you make a lot of stuff? Did you make a few things? What was your favorite thing that you made? My favorite thing that I made, I think, would be this blanket. Because it's the most useful <laughs> so far. Uh, I've been using this all the time. Like, if I'm sitting on the couch, it's just perfect for if you're laying on the couch and you just drape it over, like, from here down. And it's just cozy. I love it. So what did you guys make in February? What did you love the most about February? Crochet-wise. <laughs> uh, I had all these ideas to make all kinds of, like, valentine's things and then just life stepped in but i'm glad with what i made you know it's better than not making anything i guess and i'm looking forward to handing out the daffodils so i can't wait to do that later this month but yeah i guess that's everything for this video <laughs> uh, come back and watch the march roundup at the end of march and i got two more extra days this month so i can maybe squeeze in a few more things <laughs> we shall see thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye guys